Hello world, this is the sixth video in my video series of trying to build a Jarvis-like program in Python. And this is my second video in my Tweepy Twitter automation. So in the first video of the Tweepy Twitter automation, I showed off how I could compose a tweet from my program. In this video, I'll show how I'm able to auto-follow people based off of random hashtags and how I can automatically unfollow people that aren't following me. So first, before we get into the code, let's check it out. Now, since I am recording a video, there is some lag, so just stay with me and follow the dialogue. Here we go. What would you like to update? Follow people. There you go, and if you look down here, you can see it starting to follow people. And what it's doing is probably using the hashtag Python, and it's just following people. Now this is much quicker when I'm not recording a video. And so you'll see right here it says error. So that's just what I typed in. It's not a real error, it just means I'm already following them. Okay, I'm going to stop this, but it'll keep going for about 20 people. So let me stop this, and then we'll try to unfollow people. Now, since I'm recording, this speech recognition isn't working the best, so let's try it. What would you like to update? Unfollow people. And there you go. As you can see, it is now unfollowing people. All right, again, apologize for the delay, but since I'm recording, for some reason it doesn't like, there is some delay and it doesn't like me recording at the same time. So let's look at the code. So just like the last code, we haven't imported anything new. These bottom two from Jarvis Speaks and from Jarvis Hears are my own. They use the speech recognition module and the Pi text-to-speech module or plugin. That's the PYTTSX. I cover that in my first video. Then it accesses my secret keys, my consumer and consumer secret key, my access token and access token. Again, this is covered in my first Tweepy vote video. And I'll put these in a playlist so you can see me grow this Twitter automation. Then you call the API compose the tweet that's what we covered last time and then we get into this auto follow so first let me give a credit to study sheet this youtuber this is where i got the majority of the um, code from and as you can see i have entered my own terms here i just put these in myself and it'll randomly search it using the import random then it searches using the dot cursor method now this is not a tutorial, so I'm not going into each one of these lines. And then for each tweet in my search, I want followers with over 100 people. And then it creates a favorite, which means it likes it. Then it sleeps. And this is why it took a little long, because there are timeout requirements through the Tweepy app. So it's not gonna let you ping Twitter so many times in one second, especially with super fast computers who will do it hundreds of times in one second. So this sleeps for a little bit. Then it creates a friendship with that person, sleeps some more, and then it lets me know that you're following that uh, Twitter name. So the accept there, that's an, uh, you know, a try has to have an accept when you use it. And then it just says error with this Twitter username. And that just means I'm already following them. It's not a real error. So for the unfollow, so this is a, an amalgamation of so many videos and so many uh, Stack Overflow responses. And so what this does is it creates friend names and follow names. These are two arrays here. And then for each friend in your friends list, it appends those names. It finds those friends and puts it into friend names. 
Same thing with the follow names. It puts that into that array. And then if I get a rate limit error, which means I've sent too many pings to Twitter, it'll just say you're getting an error. Not sure why I put the question mark there. And then you create a set for your friends, a set for your followers. And then you create a variable that's the difference between them two. So it's going to find the different names. And so if you're not following in it, it's called destroying a friendship. So the Twitter, that, those are pretty savage names because when you create a friendship under here, you're creating this friendship. But when you unfollow it, you're destroying the friendship. So I just feel that's ominous, but whoever developed it might have wanted it to feel ominous. And then it prints that I am now unfollowing this. And then to call this, I use what's called Twitter options. And it asks me, what would you like to update? And then I can choose for right now to compose a tweet, which you've seen in the first Tweepy video. You can follow people or you can unfollow people. And so when I'm not recording, this works pretty well. So I'm really excited that this works because I am awful at social media management. Um, I've heard marketing takes up to 80% of your time, or should, and uh, I don't do any of that. So I've always had low social media usage and engagement. It's just I'm not good at it. You have to be on there frequently. You have to be engaging, and that's just not me. So having it all automated makes it really easy for me. So this type of automation that I'm using is called a REST API. This means that nothing happens until I run this program in PyCharm and then I give it a command. But once I'm satisfied with each of these functions, then I can implement what's known as a streaming API. And a streaming API allows you to interact with Twitter in real time. So as people follow me, send me direct messages, um, as I follow them, I will auto comment to people and all of this will be streaming in a real time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications and share with your friends. Goodbye world.